Hello there here and we are going to play the title is not here. Let's choose our language first before we continue, shall we? <laughs> English or Spanish? No 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 it's not no I get I get hit by English or Spanish. No <laughs> This is so stupid. Or J Japanese Woo English e e e Yes so Hello there here and we are back with the mysteries of Franco Tagawa Volume 2. Sorry let me uh what do you call what do you call it? Recollect it myself. Hello there here and we are back with the mysteries of Ranko Tagawa Volume 2, the girl who wasn't there. So, was there some? Did I mute this? Am I accidentally muting this? Let me check. No, it's not muted. I think. Uh where was I? Yeah, the mysteries of Ranko Tagawa Volume 2, the girl who wasn't there. Previously we have already played this is the demo, still the demo. We have already played the this demo back then, but it wasn't as completed as right now. This is another demo version. You can check the other the other demo version in the card above. But also, we have also played, as you can see, this is volume 2. We have also played volume 1, which is a very interesting story about mysteries. I don't want to spoil stuff. You can check it also in the card above. But yes, this is the continuation of that. The girl who wasn't there. So, let's see. Credits. Scenario, David Heredia, 156, 1564 Studio. Okay, that's a way better way to say it. Art Director, Fran Fell, 1564 Studio. Programming, Oscar Gill, 1564 Studio. Card Design, Ijuchi. Ijuchi? Yeah, Ijuchi. Background, Frog Apples, Music, Sari Alemes. Gemini's Translation, Tomo Kono, and Rie, Rie Ihara. Follow us on Twitter for development, Edison Moore. Yeah, sure, sure. Back. So, yes, let's start playing game, shall we? This should be much more complicated than assets, and I'm really interested to see. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, that's so lovely. I don't know, how do you describe this kind of art direction, art style? Ranko! Yes! It's Monday, 2 minutes to 8 this in the morning. One more day, classes start for the week at Sang Jo Kim, the private academy where we are studying for the second year. And yet one more day, we are about to be late. You will think... <laughs> that kinda looks like... Oh, the battery is out! That's why! Oh, no, no, no! I can skip that! No, lock! I'm so dead. What do you mean the lock is not available? I keep skipping stuff. Help! No, this is a failure. Go back now. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, this should be fine, right? And yet one more day, we're about to be late. You will think that two young ladies being educated at such prestigious institution will be self-disciplined enough to make it to class on time. But as this instruction is just proving just now, that's not the case at all. The truth is that our mornings do not begin with a lesson to cultivate our general culture, but with an unnecessary, unnecessary run to our classroom that is much more exhausting than any following peer session. For some, going for a run as a way to start the day, it's the perfect stimulus to activate the body. And gather the energy they will need to face whatever they has in store for them. Such as, haha, <laughs> some weird case, right? Uh -huh. These people have my full respect and admiration. To me, a person who hates physical exercise with all my heart. <laughs> Franco, no. This is a recurring sequence in, in which I find myself crossing the first of the school at original speeds for a girl of my build. Oh, yeah, uh, wait. I think I will do this, BRB. Sorry, I was just adjusting my chair, where was I? This recording sequence in which I find myself crossing the corridors of the school at the initial speeds for a girl of my build. It's a perfect reason to put me in bad mood since the very first hour in the morning. <laughs> Franco, Franco. Yeah? Will you please hurry up? Astrid! Hey! Come on, don't get angry, we're on time. My perfectly just justified complaint is directed at that long-legged, blonde-haired Swedish girl who responds to the name of Astrid Larsson. <laughs> She's my roommate, best friend, and main source of annoyance. Bestie! Yay! This might be in the culprit of our usual delays, today she has decided to go at a more relaxed pace than our schedule requires. Just once, I like to walk into class without being short of breath. Is it really that much to ask? Yes. Yes, it is. Every day is the same with you. You take twice a regular ramen breakfast, and then I have to wait for you to finish that mountain of food. Am I? Oh, I'm covering the phone. Uh, yeah, I was like talking about this phone. How do I move my model? Hello? 
There we go, you can see that the phone is there, that's cool, right? It's out of battery, it's dead. Anyway, yes, let's continue, shall we? How can you gobble so much in the morning? It's just that... It's just that everything is so good, I can't resist. Besides, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, you have to eat properly. I'm sure you're so short because you don't eat enough. God damn. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have a perfectly standard hate for an ordinary Japanese young lady. If anything, the problem is with you, you freaking giraffe. Hey! That sounds like you're body shaming, and that's wrong. I see you started first. Yeah, Renko, shame on you. I can't believe you. SMH. Astrid has the knack for turning tables and making me look guilty of the situation she actually started first. This is definitely something that should be studied with scientific parameters. <laughs> see, we are see, we are here. Come inside. You're not delaying us with so much grumble. You're unbelievable. Yeah? Ah, uh -uh. I don't remember if it looks like this before. Does it look like this before? It looks more refined if it does. If it doesn't. If it... What the fuck am I talking about? If this is new, it looks more refined, I think. Or maybe the same. If it does... If it, okay, if it, it's the same, then it looks... It still looks great. Because I think the old, I don't really remember the old uh, background. I think it was more different than this? It, okay, I want I want to check now. Let me check for a bit. Oh, it does look different. This one is much more refined. I'm right. Look at that. We're in a classroom at exactly the same time as the eight o'clock bell rings. We'll never know if we have broken any athletic records, but at least we have the satisfaction of not being late. A satisfaction that is shortly, considering that tomorrow we'll have to repeat the whole process once again, and again, and again, and again, and again. It's hard to be me. Phew, that was a close call. See? There's nothing to worry about. This has been going on for months. It's been a long time since I stopped worrying about it, but it wears me out. You're so dramatic. Dramatic. I don't know how to say it. It's been a while since our incident on the Marine Express submarine train. Oh, oh okay. There's no highlight uh, or something, so I wasn't like... I, I was suspecting initially that it will trigger something, but... I was, I then was like, hmm, probably nothing because there's no highlight, but apparently yes. Marine Express. The Marine Express is the first international submarine train linking the west coast of USA with Japan. We need a Marine Express. We need, we need train, you know, because like, holy, I think like, planes are so expensive. I don't know. Will train be cheaper? At least I think train will be cheaper. Despite the state of the art technology implied in the system, the maiden voyage was a fiasco that has cost the developer a lot of money. Still, they seem to be determined to make it work as a tourist attraction. Next. The time when one of the academy teacher was killed and Astrid and I decided to investigate what happened. It was a harrowing travel full of twists and turns and unpleasant surprise. Looking back, it's hard to believe that it all really happened. Now it's only been a couple months since then, but our lives are back to being as ordinary as and unremarkable as usual. And I mean that as a good thing. Solving crimes may seem exciting in novels and... Novels? Novels and t on TV, I read it as novels because I... Read the, t the TV part first and then I go back to novels and it just automatically connects with... Both of them into novels. But what I want to tell you is that it all often involves causing pain to someone. After going through something like that, I'm glad we've got our peace of mind back. Hahaha, <laughs> yeah, for how long? <laughs> I would prefer that, if possible, we never face that kind of situation ever again. Although I guess that's something one can decide on their own. Yeah. The best and worst thing in life always come unexpectedly, and I think prepares you for them. I just pray that things go on peacefully from now on. Uh-huh. Good morning, girls! Mr. Brown, or homeroom teacher, comes in with his gentle smile and his usual calmness. Hell yeah, Mr. Brown! Well, of course you're calm when you don't have to run. You already start the week? Yes, another boring week with you. Laughs. <laughs> well, I know Mondays are hard, but they don't have to be boring. In fact, no, Mr. Brown, I have a surprise for you. Starting today, you will have a new classmate. Huh? Whisper whispers. The same girl who this team is now showing a face of obvious surprise. 
We sort of fills the air as we are all curious about this newcomer who will join us in the middle of the year. Come on in! Hello. Ah, new student, Laura Williams. Hello, Laura Williams. Very... red. This is Laura Williams. Changing schools is never easy. I hope you'll give her a warm welcome, okay? Right, and now that we have broken the ice, why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> God, I better forget that you do this. Or did you did you appear in the previous demo? I'm not sure. Come on, don't be shy. You have good classmates here. I'm sure we'll become friends in no time. <laughs> Hi. Excellent. Anything else? Pleasure. She doesn't seem very pleased, actually. It's okay, the first day can be difficult, you don't need to force yourself. Now tell me, do you perhaps like a good joke? No, Frank, please. No. Uh-oh. Well, that's alright, we'll get to know each other. Poor Mr. Brown, he seems a little heartbroken. Look, you can sit over there at the back, next to the window. That's a very good spot, it's where the main characters of TV usu show usually sit. Your story at St. Joachim Academy is about to begin, what do you say? Okay. <laughs> four answers, four words. A real chatterbox. Well, let's get started. Where were we? Page 114. Yes, that was it. Okay, I was explaining the other day. The new girl doesn't seem very sociable. I'm not sure she's going to make any friends with that cranky face. She's almost a bit scary and everything, does she really dislike changing school that much? I don't know what else you may think about her, maybe she feels a little scared. Choices? I don't I don't remember there was choices back then. Should I take a look at Acid's face? I'm worried that she's afraid of new girl, no need to think of her that. Uh, this one, because it's a more exciting choice. <laughs> That's right. Well, nope, she's looking at her with her happy symbol and face. She doesn't have a care in the world. Anyway, let's give this girl some time. She may just need a few days to settle in here. I just hope we end getting along. We end up getting along. Yes? I don't remember if there was choices in the Oh, look at that! That looks so good! Once classes are over, we have free time in the afternoon until dinner time. Normally, we use it to do our things or to attend club activities. But today, we have to spend it in the library finishing the mountain of homework for tomorrow. Uh, yes, indeed. You have to be pretty sadistic. Oh, shit. Something fell off from my desk. Pretty sadistic to load up us like that right at the start of the week. Scythe. Thank goodness it's time for dinner. My brain is melted. Haha, <laughs> mine too. It's been quite on the day. I didn't even look at what they had for dinner. I just grabbed the first thing I saw in front of me and took it on my tray. I no longer process special information. I can just start to help you recover your brain cells. Thank you, I really I really need it today. Let's find a table. Hazel, hello! Hey guys, can I sit here with you? Hazel Wells, outspoken model. Hi Hazel! Hi. Wow, you look... Wow, you look poop. She's really tired today. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Why is there a banana in your soup? Hmm, banana soup. Huh? Indeed, the emblem record on my plate is invaded by a curved marble yellow in island that... That is... Sorry? Island that by all accounts turned out to be a banana. An original idea that tries to pass for a novel cuisine, but is nonetheless an insult to the traditional soup I have been served. Uh, you know, it's it's like pineapple... Pineapple stuff, you know, like the pineapple stuff. You just add bananas to everything. Long story short, I put it there by accident. Uh-huh. Oh. I don't know, I'm too tired to know what I'm doing. I thought maybe it was some kind of Asian cooking thing or something. <laughs> Wait, that was Hazel. I thought it was... I thought maybe it was some kind of Asian cooking thing or something. By the way, love the... Earrings, that's amazing. 
What the heck? Say, did you manage to finish your homework? No, we still have to write that essay for the history class. We sat all afternoon in the library and even so we never managed to see the end of it. I haven't finished either, we'll just have to greet our teeth tonight. I don't understand why they're so brutal. Half of the girls who come here already have their lives figured out, why do they make us study so hard? There's no way to make it through the week. I have my life figured out and I like to study. <laughs> Astrid, goddammit, <laughs> shut just silence. Are you saying those things to piss me off? No, it's the truth. Okay, Astrid, have, have your fun. One day I'm going to pinch you to death. Shut up and eat your, eat your banana soup. Bleh. Are you really going to eat that? But shouldn't be wasted. I think I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's a banana in a soup. It's not that bad. At least it's not some weird stuff like salted fish. If you, if you accidentally drop a salted fish in your soup, it's probably doomed. Or like a bunch of tomato sauce. Well, I'm not very hungry, but I would feel bad if I didn't. The children be wasted. Yeah, it shouldn't be wasted as long as it's not ruined. You're right, and you have to eat something after such a hard day. I guess so, this time I'll have to suck it up, literally. You have all of my respect, my friend. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey, Jenny, wanna sit with us? Jennifer Banyan. Heck. Heck. Has he turned? What is it? What is it? Has he turned? I'm sorry, they are calling me. Huh? And just like that, as she came, she left. It doesn't seem like anyone is calling her, so perhaps it was just a polite way of declining our invitation because she felt like dining alone. I really don't understand that girl sometimes. She's not a bad kid, but she's a bit weird. Speaking of weird people, I don't see Haifa today. Oh yeah, Haifa, let's see. Oh, we don't have the pictures of Haifa, that would be amazing if we have pictures. You know, uh, to improve this, they should add pictures to the uh, image, to the text they posted here. You know, that would be amazing. Also, I think there there's need to be some improvement in the name system, because sometimes I it's hard for me to actually identify between Rank or Hazel at this moment. Haifa al Sharif. A girl obsessed with ninja who presents herself as Crimson Moon. <laughs> she has great respect for Ranko and takes advantage of her being Japanese to ask all sorts of questions about her culture. After the incident, the Marin Express, she felt a renewed interest in mysteries, uh, mysteries and joined the Mystery Club at the Academy. Okay, so... yeah? She's probably hiding in some corner doing her ninja stuff. She's totally nuts. Nuts in a good way. But she's very nice. We had a great time with her in Japan. You mean you had a great time with her? She dragged me all over Kyoto asking where to find monuments dedicated to the Iga and Koga clans. We aren't even in the right prefecture for that. Well, but it's true that we had a great time. I'm mad with you two. You could have taken me around. You had abandoned me the whole trip. I'd have liked to buy some clothes in... What's the name? Shinsuku? Shinjuku. It's Shinjuku. That's right. Sorry, we're pretty bad with foreign names here in America. I understand, when I learn English, I realize how different Eastern languages are compared to Western ones. Yes, this is me on the Discord server with a bunch of friends fighting over how to say sons. Yeah, okay. Uh, you all know, like, the guy from Undertale, right? The skeleton bones from Undertale guy who keeps making pun. How do you say his name? Are you saying it like... Sans? Sans Undertale? Or Sans Undertale? We, like, we, we were arguing like that. Or are you saying it like Sans? So there's like three people. There's people that say it's Sans Undertale? Sans Undertale? Sans Undertale. And we were just arguing which one is the... It's like, what? Like, we were just arguing like, what the hell? How do you say Sans? And I'm, I'm the type of person that says Sans instead. <laughs> Like Comic Sans, yeah. Even we have problems in Japan sometimes, it's hard to read certain things. 
My family name, for example, has a rather unusual reading of characters. Normally, it would read Higashikawa or Azumagawa. Even Towa Togawa would be kinda okay like learning the first vowel. But some genius talk it would be more interesting if it were Togawa. Now we always have to explain how to read it. The happiest people should use alphabet for everything, it would be much easier. Well, it's a cultural thing, that's how we work. I like to make your lives harder. <laughs> Ouch. Leave me alone, I'm not in the mood for discussion today. Oh no! Now what's wrong with you? It's a catastrophe! A complete disaster! I forgot to get those yummy chocolate cream pasta for dessert, I'm sure they're all gone by now. To each their own. I've been dreaming about them all day long, how could I forget? Ooh. Poor Astrid, she seems really sad. Let her be, she likes spotting about everything, but the drama doesn't last long. Anyway, it's time to finish our dinner. I see how I said maybe. Just pull the banana out! <laughs> God damn it. Well, uh, at least I was thinking it will do. Oh, look at that moo moo! That's a moo moo. I think that's what it's called, right? That's cute. Look at the, look at the background. After dinner, we all go back to our dorms. Small pajama parties are often held in other people's room, but the school is pretty strict about not going out at night. Saint Joachim is still boarding school after all, even if anyone won't have their rules. But today, of course, I'm grateful that we are forced to go back to our room. Oof, I'm so dead. How can they grind us so hard on a Monday? Surely this is against human rights. It has to be illegal. I just feel like falling into bed and passing out until tomorrow. But he can yet. We haven't finished our remaining homework. Sorry, it's a day never going to end. What a way to start the week. It couldn't be a do or day. Well, something special happened today. And that is? Huh? What do you mean? A new student arrived at our class. That's not something that happens every day. Oh, that's right. I think I can kind of guess which one is acid bad and which one is rank bad, which is amazing. I really don't know what to think of that girl. She spent the whole class in silence looking out the window. Even when class were over, she pulled it out. We didn't even have time to ask about her. And after that, we never came to see her around. You think she was trying to hide from everyone? I think she just sighed. It's our first day at new school. I'm sure she was nervous. Oh, uh, sorry, my throat is doing stuff again. BRB. Okay, let's continue. I think she just sighed. It's her first day at new school. I'm sure she was nervous. I don't know. She looked kind of grumpy. See if it bothered her. Oh, that was Astrid. Okay. As if it bothered her to have to speak with the others. It's not like we are all friends in the class, but at least we we'll, we'll talk to each other. Was it that hard for her to be nice and introduce herself? What a jerk. <laughs> God damn. Don't be like that. You always try to see the worst in others. You, don't, you do the same with me. But that's because you're an airhead who's up to no good, so I can't help it. See, you're always like that. You're always a foul mouth. Well, I'm not going to talk to you anymore until you learn to be nice to others. Oops, I seem to have gone a bit off her board this time, maybe she'll apologize. Okay, I'm sorry, you know I don't mean it. It's just to tease you. Even if you don't, sometimes it hurts that you're so mean. You have to measure your words more. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I won't do it anymore. Today. Well, I won't talk to you today either. Play. Come on, let's finish our homework, I just want to go to bed. I hope I don't fall asleep, these writings are always a yawn factory. I don't know why they make us... Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Where did I leave my notebook? Huh? Huh? Why isn't it here? Darn it, did I leave it on my desk? It couldn't be at the worst time. Scythe, I guess I have no choice but to go to the classroom to get it. I can't believe it. And now... Uh-huh. Um, hey. I'm not talking to you. Yeah, but I left my notebook in class. Will you come with me to get it? Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> now you want me to go with you, huh? You better friendship for taking such a dramatic turnaround. I've, apolo I've already apologized to you. What else do you want? I know someone who used to say every act has a consequences. Does that ring a bell, Ranko? Hmm. Grr, using my own words against me. Now you'll, now, now you'll learn your lesson. You're on your own this time. Alright, I get it. I'm leaving. Careful, don't get caught by a ghost in the way. Ooh. Meh. Play. 
The girls are fighting. Ah, dark, spooky. Stupid Astrid. I may have other overdone it a bit in there. Sometimes, sometimes I don't know when to hit the brakes. There, now I feel bad. Come on, I'll buy her some sweets from the cafeteria to make amends. If there's one good thing about Astrid is that food makes her forget anything bad I say about her right away. And now I had to walk the house alone in the middle of the night because of my own, of my big darn mouth. And if no one catches me, it will be the icing on the cake to end this hell of a day. Thank goodness I'm already there. Uh huh. Hum. Maybe I'm saying things because I'm too tired, but. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Why is there a girl lying on the floor? Hey, are you okay? Stay calm, you'll learn a lot from last time. Take a good look at her. Her breathing is weak. I think she has a concussion. She seems to have hit her head hard. She has a small cut with blood coming out of it. Hey, can you hear me? Answer me. Me. Huh? Help me. Yeah, don't worry. We'll take you to the infirmary right away. But I won't be able to carry her by myself. I don't ma have that much strength. Girl, now I regret not doing more exercise as Clarissa says. Clarissa says. Who's Clarissa? We we'll probably need a... a... What do you call it? A note to remember. Listen, I'm going to get help. Stay here and don't try to move. I'll be right back with more people. I don't think they can move anywhere, Ranko. I better start moving my legs. This girl needs to be taken care of right away. Help, please. Come out, please. I need help. Look at the background. Hell yeah. What's the matter? What's with all the yelling? Please, I need you to come. There's a girl. Ranko, what's happening? I feel like having a party. <laughs> no, you dork. There's a girl lying on the floor in front of the classroom. I think she's hurt. I need someone to come and help me take her to the infirmary. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a cool expression. I didn't expect it. it. It looks so different from the others. Oh no! Hey, that looks serious. Come on, we'll help you. Thank you, follow me quickly. And she's gone. The girl who wasn't there. Pant pant. Man, I can't take it anymore. These two races have killed me. I may have to be carried away too. We are already... here. Where is she? What do you mean, where is she? She's just sitting there. Franco, there's nobody here. Huh? Where the hell has she gone? I told her not to move. She didn't really look like she could even get up though. I don't understand, I swear she was right here. Are you sure you didn't go down the wrong hallway? No, no, it's here. I'm sure next to the lockers. Oh, Ranko, you really something. Huh? You like making fun of me, but if you were so afraid to come alone, you, sh you should have said so. As for <laughs> Please. <laughs> I would have come with you even if I was angry. You didn't need to make everyone come here with your little lie. That's not it, you nincompoop. So it was all a prank? That's not funny. No, I swear, there was a girl here. She looked hurt and... Hey, what are you doing out here? Go back to your rooms. You know what? You know you can go out at night. Oh, it's the janitor. We better get out of here before she tells us off. But... We better get back, Ranko. Um... Ah. Huh. You know, I race back to the dorms. My soul is leaving my body as point. And the worst thing is that I still don't understand what happened there. I know that there was a girl on the floor, I'm exhausted but I'm not hallucinating. What was she doing lying there? And where she could have gone? I have a feeling that something bad has happened but there's no way of knowing what. Yeah, very interesting isn't it? What are those in the shelves? Are those drinks? That's cool. God, I wish I had a shelf. Oh thank goodness we didn't have to get the, didn't come by the janitor. I'm sure we'll have been grounded. I, this is Astrid, not Franco. Oh, thank goodness we didn't ha get caught by the janitor. I'm sure we would have been grounded. What a relief, right? God, I wish I had this kind of room now. Yeah, I guess so. Are you okay? It's just... I swear there was someone hurt. I don't know why she wasn't around when we got there. 
I'll leave you. You wouldn't joke about something like that. You you literally just say it you feel <laughs> I'm down a few moments ago. I'm down. Thank you, I really don't know what to make of this right now. Everything will be clear tomorrow. If someone is missing, we'll know, and if not, you can talk to that girl. Yeah, you're right. We'll ask about her tomorrow after school. Alright. By the way, you're not angry anymore. Ah. It's true, of course I'm still angry. I'm fuming now. I'm not talking to you anymore. Don't you dare forget. It seems to me that you're the one forgetting it. Anyway, let's drop it. We better get to sleep. Tomorrow will be another day. Interesting. And I'm pretty sure this is near the end of the demo. And that day, of course, was the beginning of a new case. Neither of us could have imagined how things would turn out. We couldn't have known how many surprises that we had in store for us. Nor could we have known that we could would uncover St. Joachim's darkest secrets. But if there's one thing I did know, it was that the night was going to be the beginning of something. That night. Something ominous that started with the girl I had seen. The girl who wasn't there. Is this the end of the demo, or is this an... That's the end of the demo. The Mysteries of Rank of the Gawa Volume 2, The Girl Who Wasn't There, coming in 2025. 1564 Studio, All Right Reserve. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, yeah. Uh... Okay, so the story is still the same, like the previous demo, however, with... With all the little details here and there, it's much more improved, and I love that so so much. Like, I, I love the little explanation text that you can hover over when you need to remember someone. That's a really good addition. Uh, I also love the the looks of the backgrounds. It's amazing, and the characters. It's also amazing. The music is also bopping. I forget to mention that. Like, I was like bopping through the music while playing. Um, but I must say, it's sometimes it's still demo, so I'm not really sure. It's sometimes still confusing to know, like like I've already said before in the middle of the video. It's really hard sometimes to differentiate whether it's Ranko talking or someone else, especially if their picture is not shown on the bottom left. And also, uh, I forget, the naming? I think the naming and that and what else? Oh yeah, it would be a great addition if like all the notes have some pictures besides them all the hover over notes have pictures beside them so you can remember more who is who and some events because it's just a cold edition but that's not really that's really just an additional things that i thought either way i'm really excited for the game to come out soon and i will like as soon as in 2025 and i will definitely play it as, as soon as it comes out but for now that's all for the video. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video or in 2025 in the release of this game. Bye bye.